if you knew that you would be getting diabetes in a few years' time? If we knew that we'd be getting cardiovascular problems or even cancer? Now, I'm not trying to be a downer here, but let's face it, these are issues we are all going to have at one stage in our life. So, if we knew, what would we do? Would we sit there waiting until we get sick and then take medication to get better and hope for the best? Or would we do something about it now to prevent it from happening? Now, you'd be saying, Nora, really, what a stupid question. Obviously, you will do something about it. Is this the best you have? Well, my question isn't really that stupid. In fact, 97% of public expenditure goes towards curing disease, and only 3% goes towards preventing it. 97 versus 3%. It's crazy in a world where technology reigns that we're walking blindly into disease. Really, really crazy. And what makes it worse is that our population is an aging population. This problem is only going to get worse. We are brainwashed to accept the system, walking into disease. Governments around the world will not be capable anymore of sustaining such a system. And for those of us who try and do something, we usually go to health stores or turn to the internet, and we're in a complete unsupervised way, unregulated way, we're hit with an overload of information, driven by two things, marketing and miracle promises, both of which are actually more harmful. So what's the solution? Obviously, we can't take drugs in advance to prevent things from happening because they have huge side effects. Well, my name is Nora Kaldi. I'm the founder of Neurotas. At Neurotas, we find disease-beating molecules in food that are natural, scientifically proven, with no big damaging side effects. The bottom line here, really, is that the health system needs a complete re-evaluation. I get often contacted by people that see what we're doing at Neurotas. Recently, I got contacted by a father who was looking for a natural solution for his daughter, who suffers from inflammation. She's taking big drugs, and these have huge side effects on her. And he wrote to me saying, my daughter is fading in front of my eyes. What can I do? This is what drives me, helping people like this father. I created Neurotas to really improve health and transform the health of billions of people around the world. I've experienced this myself in my own life with my granddad. I was very young, but seeing him healthy at one stage and then hit by sickness the next. And he was weak and he got weaker with the drugs. The drugs were too, too far damaging. The journey that led me to Neurotas started actually in south of France, where I did, a P where I did my master's in mathematics, pure mathematics and computer science. I then moved to Ireland, um, where I joined Trinity College and one of the best labs in molecular evolution and bioinformatics, where I did my PhD. But the defining moment in my career came when I realized the opportunity that lay in food. I decided to pursue my career, my research career, on understanding the molecular evolution of food molecules. Everyone around me was telling me, you're mad. Like, why are you doing, why are you doing this? Why are you moving into food? There's nothing there. You know, um, you're, you're crazy. You're going to ruin your career. Um, this is totally impossible, finding disease-beating molecules in food. But I truly believe that the key to reducing and preventing many diseases around the world lies in food. And the way we're going to do this is by using mathematics and computer science. Let me explain. If I were to ask you what the image behind me represents, you'd say an apple, a red apple. And you'd be correct. But at Neurotas, we see this apple in a very different light. We see this apple in terms of data, trillions and trillions of molecules. To put it in perspective, there's more data in this one apple than all social media put together. 
The data that's contained in this apple has tremendous health-benefiting molecules, molecules that can truly transform health by preventing, by managing, by curing some of the world and some of the Europe's global epidemics, such as diabetes, such as cardiovascular problems or cancer. I get told very often, why don't we just eat the food? Well, it's not really that easy. I wish it was that easy. It's not that easy. The, the molecules we're interested in are called peptides. They're locked within the food structure, and it's only by us identifying them and releasing them that you get the benefit. In using our technology, we have identified some unique, groundbreaking ingredients. One example would be an ingredient that actually moves glucose from the blood into the muscle. Now, you tell me, why is this relevant? Well, it's relevant because I guess most of you have heard of the 21st century's global ep epidemic, diabetes. Well, diabetes comes as a result of, of glucose not moving in from the blood into the muscle. And now you see why our ingredient is actually relevant for humankind. We found some other groundbreaking ingredients, some anti-inflammatories. And as you know, inflammation lies at the core of many diseases, such as Alzheimer's, cancer, our autoimmune disease, which is the disease that actually the father wrote to me about, and who I told our ingredients are coming along. They're going to be ready, commercially ready, in about a year or two years' time. So how do we do it? Well, we combine my own background, pure mathematics and computer science. More precisely, we use artificial intelligence and DNA analyses to look at food at the molecular level, look at the trillions of molecules within food, and identify the subsets of peptides that have a very important health benefit. Very soon, given your disease predispositions, you would be able to purchase a bread, a cereal bar, or a drink that would help you prevent those diseases from occurring. And if you have them already, help you manage them in a better way. The Neurotask team is transforming the future of health. You know, join us, be part of Neurotask, and see how our ingredients are coming along. Walking blindly into disease is no longer necessary. Ingredients that are natural, scientifically proven, with no major side effects, are now a reality. In an ideal world, prevention and cure should walk hand in hand to make sure the new generation does not suffer the same way the old one did, like my granddad. This is the solution. So I urge all governments around the world to really look at this, because this is the only way out. Thank you.